What's up, my friends? So glad to be back. Comic-Con was absolutely amazing, but as you can tell from my voice, it took a toll on me. I scream a lot. There was just so much screaming and all the news, I was very excited. And today, I get to talk to you about what I think is the greatest news to come from Comic-Con 2017. And I'm not talking about the greatest trailer or the greatest appearance of a, of a movie star. This is strictly what I think is the most interesting news to come out of Comic-Con. And that is Flashpoint? This year at the DC's panel in Hall H, they were announcing a bunch of things left and right, showing new trailers left and right, but then they were also like, oh hey, Flash is getting his solo movie in the year 2020, and here's the title of it. Boom! Flashpoint. And when I first heard this, I'll be honest, I got a little Flash angry at the moment. <laughs> Get it? Because it's Flash and I got Flash angry really fast. That's okay, that's a stupid joke. Because at first, my initial thought was, what are you doing? The CW already did Flashpoint and they messed it up. Why the hell are you going to try to jump in and do it right? Just give me a good solo Flash movie. And then I was like, wait a second. This is amazing. To give you a little backstory on what Flashpoint is, Flash wakes up one day and finds out he doesn't have superpowers anymore. It's because the reverse Flash went back in time and didn't kill Barry Allen's mom, which then leads Barry Allen down this path of what the world would be like if he never became the Flash and how that affects the entire DC universe. In the comics, you have uh, Deathstroke is a pirate for some reason. There's a giant war between Wonder Woman and and Aquaman and then you also have Cyborg is the big hero that everyone loves and cheers for and apparently with Superman when his pod crashes to earth uh, the Kens don't find him the government gets to him first and then they keep him underground in a hidden uh, facility and so Superman never sees the Sun so when they see Superman he's like completely scrawny and whatnot I, okay I digress completely but seriously read Flashpoint there's some crazy stuff that happens in that world but more importantly Bruce Wayne died when he was a kid in that in the alley and Thomas Wayne his father becomes Batman and isn't afraid to shoot people with a gun there's a lot of stuff that happens and if you think you can watch CW's The Flash to figure out what Flashpoint is you're wrong they were wrong the only thing that they have in common is it's an alternate timeline and because of that when I heard Flashpoint I just wasn't excited I thought it was a bad idea and then I thought about it and realized holy crap this is amazing news, and here's why. Everyone gives Marvel so much credit because to get to the Avengers, they started in 2008 with Iron Man and then did all the superhero movies and whatnot, and it was great. And then DC's like, we've got the Justice League. And everyone's like, whoa, dude, that's a little reactionary. You're just jumping in with all these characters that we don't know about yet. But here's the thing, yes, Justice League is going to launch all of these characters forward, and we're gonna see them in action for the first time, but from that, we're gonna spawn all of these other movies. Next year, we've got Aquaman. The year after that, we've got Shazam. We'll see if that ties into Justice League at all. 2019 is gonna be Wonder Woman 2, but that takes place in the Cold War, so that doesn't really affect anything here. And then in the year 2020, we've got a Cyborg movie, and we've got Flashpoint. So all of these separate movies are going to lead into Flashpoint. And then that's going to be the giant moment that we're all excited about. It won't be as big and as much of a lead in it as it was into the first Avengers, but still, see what's happening is they're now establishing an entire universe so that Flashpoint can take that universe and turn it upside down. It's going to be amazing when Ezra Miller just wakes up at the start of the movie, tries to move fast, and realizes that he can't. Everything that we've seen so far we get to see the opposite of it. We're gonna see Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa fighting in a giant war. Also really cool, we're gonna see Negan as Batman. And that's assuming that they keep the same casting that they had with Batman v Superman, where they have the same actor that's Negan is, is Thomas Wayne. But to have this Flashpoint movie and then introduce uh, uh, Reverse Flash also in it and utilize this entire universe I think it's going to be really interesting and very smart and it's also going to give them the chance to fix any casting issues. For example, there's the whole rumor stuff that was going around of Ben Affleck saying that he didn't want to be Batman anymore. And yes, on stage, he's like, oh no, I love Batman. I'm here for the long haul. And everyone's like, yay, Ben Affleck, Batman. I still think Ben Affleck is a good Batman. I want to see more of him. But 
hey, if he doesn't want to be Batman anymore, Flashpoint can literally change everything. We can even get a new Joker. Now, if you're familiar with Flashpoint, you know we are definitely going to have a different Joker in Flashpoint if they show her, or if they show the Joker. Uh, no spoilers, but you probably already know because I've talked about it on the channel before. Anyways, after Barry Allen fixes the past to get back to the present, anything and everything can change. He can go back in time, fix everything, and then all of a sudden, who's this new guy who's Batman? Or, what? This is a brand new Joker. They can literally reset, fix, do whatever they want in the DC Cinematic Universe utilizing Flashpoint and you get everything building up to Flashpoint, I think this is fantastic news. There's so much promise. There's so much that can come from this. See, you can see that I'm getting very excited right now. I'm getting very excited. A small argument that I'm, that I'm hearing is that it's too bad that the first Flash movie isn't really a Flash movie. It's kind of like how Captain America 3 Civil War wasn't really a Captain America movie. It was an everybody movie. And yes, we at least got two Captain America movies beforehand, which was very prominent to the hero that it's named after. We are going to get that with The Flash, and I don't know, I don't think that's a horrible thing. Flashpoint is definitely very much a Flash story with a bunch of other characters involved that things are happening on the sides and behind the scenes. Anyways, I think this is great, but now I want to know what you guys think. Are you excited about Flashpoint news? Or was there something else from Comic-Con that you thought was really exciting and you want to talk about? I'm going to be in the comments below talking to you because that's why I love doing this. This is my chance to rant about the things I am passionate about, whether it's comic books, movies, superheroes, video games, whatever. I'm going to talk about it. If you want me to talk about it, we're going to talk about it together. Till next time, guys. I'll see you later. Seriously, Flashpoint is going to be good. I can't wait. What happens after Flashpoint?